So, here I have a bunch of books. And so today what I'm going to be doing is just sort of taking um, a look at all these books. Uh, I have these all here because I am doing the never-ending job of updating my kids' rooms, and that includes getting rid of all of their old clothes and toys, even their furniture that they have outgrown. So, these are a lot of the books that were in my daughter's room. I did get rid of a good amount of them already, but I thought I could make a video out of trying to organize all the rest of these books and get rid of the ones that I know she won't read anymore. So I've got a few piles here. They also have this full basket here. So there's a lot of books. Uh, I'm sure I won't look at every single one in the video, but okay. So I'm not sure how how I plan to organize these, but figure it out as I go along. So, so this is a cute little set here. Um, I got these when they were a lot smaller. I do really like this set though. So, I'm going to hold on to this one. This is a set of books called Ready to Read. And these are for beginner readers. <clears throat> I used to read these with my daughter, I think. I think this is all of the books that came in the collection. So these are a lot of classic stories that are kind of shortened versions. So this one here is the Gingerbread Man. So you can see it's a um, sort of shortened, simple version of the story. And there's little games in there too. Like they have this mouse and it's hiding somewhere on every page. So, so they can look for the, the little thing that's in each book. And then in the back it gives you a little bit of activities. Here's a little um, recipe for gingerbread. And uh, in the back here, it's a little activity where they are supposed to try and put the pictures in order of how the story happened. So that kind of helps them to um, sort of, I don't know if that's comprehension or whatever that is. Just remembering what actually happened in the story. So, this is a really cute set, and I'm not ready to get rid of it yet, so I'll be keeping this one. This one has the Gingerbread Man, Three Billy Goats Gruff, what else? The Elves and the Shoemaker, Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, I think she 
can really do like these books. The Little Mermaid. I remember she liked that one too. Disney's Pinocchio. Of course, I just love all of these classic stories from when I was a kid. So, these ones I'm not going to give away yet. And, looks like there's a, you know, I guess they're past this level of reading, but still nice to go back. So I'm going to put these ones that are they're probably all younger um, aged books, but here's one in Spanish. It says Quiero a mi papá porque I love my daddy because to maybe um, introduce Spanish to them. So it's got the Spanish and with the English translation here. It keeps me safe and warm. Me mantien seguro y abrigado. Okay, so this one I have to keep. I'm gonna say that about everyone. Let's see this one here, mustache baby. I have no clue where this one came from. It's about a baby who was born with a mustache. I don't remember buying this one, so. so I think this is one that we'll have to give away. I don't think they will read this one. So yes, this one is going to go in the giveaway. a chapter book. I don't remember which one of my kids had to read this one. Probably for school. The Adventures of a South Pole Pig by Chris Kurtz. 
a novel of snow and courage. Uh, this one, they might, well, my daughter might actually read that one, so. I'm going to put this one here because this is for a bit of an older age, and she might actually read it. These ones are just sentimental. Let's see, this one here. The Great Shelby Holmes. This is another chapter book. I think maybe I got this one for my son a long time ago, but I guess he didn't enjoy it. It's like a mystery book. So I'm going to keep this one for my daughter. She might um, decide to pick it up one day. It might be a good one for her. So we'll put that one in this pile. The ones that she might read currently. There's another one. This is a, I guess, a step three. A step into reading. Brave Clara Barton. So it's like informative books for kids. So, mm, now I know this is uh, not the right level book for either of my kids. I do hate to throw away something that might be informative or educational for them, but I'll get rid of this one because I don't think they'll read it. Okay, so that one we'll put in the giveaway pile. Let's see. So this is one that I know, I'm pretty sure both of my kids have read this one. Says Smile by Raina Telgemeier. If I said that right. So I think this was a popular series of books. And I think they both really enjoyed it. It's more written out like comics. The pictures and all that. So it's sort of easy to read. But um, kind of longer and topics that are more suitable for older kids, I think. But much easier to read than like a chapter book, so. Uh, this one I'll keep because sometimes my daughter likes to reread the same book. So, keep that one. See, this one here is the Babysitter's Club. She also really enjoys these books. It's a similar, similar style. So, this one is um, by the same author. So that's why it's the same kind of book there. I remember reading these when I was a kid. The old Babysitter's Club books. I used to come home from school and read those books. I liked them so much. So they've got updated versions of it here, which is cool. And she likes it, so I'll keep that one. There's a few that author. It's another Babysitter's Club. This one is Christie's Great Idea. I wonder if they have the same stories or if they made all new stories, you know? I'm not sure. So this one is another one that I'll keep. And I'll keep the Babysitter's Club books together. And another. 
author by the same author same style book see this one is all about ghosts okay so these ones will stay all together all right so big for these now, but maybe my daughter will be interested in them. So I'm going to keep that one too. as a whole Includes books one through five. So one of them, maybe this one, one of these goes in here. Um, here is the last straw. Yeah, I think this must be book number one. Maybe, yes, this one goes in here in this set. So it's got just number one, the last straw. Um, number two is Roderick Rolls, The Ugly Truth, and another Roderick Rolls. Oh, that must be a mistake. Maybe I bought, let's see. Yeah, I must have accidentally. bought Roderick Rolls and not knowing that it's alright so let me see that 
This one goes in here. So that's the whole set. That includes Dog Days, The Ugly Truth, and Roderick Rolls. I think I said the rest of them. Okay, so of course I will keep this one. So let's see, this one back here. these I will be putting on a bookshelf but for now we'll just kind of stack them here pile them up so this was a good book uh, this is called The One and Only Ivan I think this was a movie too wasn't it? yes yeah, soon to be a mo major motion picture this is by Catherine Applegate this is a long chapter book and we read this one together me and the kids I think mostly I read it but we took turns this is a long book for a kid was a nice um, story. Of course, again, I'm going to keep this one because this is more like my daughter's level right now, so maybe she'll want to come back to that one. So, let's see, we'll put this one here just to make a little room. This one, I think I used this one in a video. This one looks like a really old book and I think if I'm remembering right I had taken my daughter to the library and I was buying some books from their book sale and she picked out this one this old scratchy book called The Little Raccoon and the Thing in the Pool. Ooh, sounds kind of creepy. I do like the little picture on the front there. I don't know, I was thinking I would let this one go, but now I want to keep it. It's because it's so old and I have to know what, maybe it's his reflection or something. The thing in the pool. Alright, well, this one we'll have to keep. That will go in this pile. Because that's more of a little kid book. Okay, this one is another Spanish language book. I got this one, I remember, when my son was a baby. And, um,. We used to read it all the time. Donde esta el ombliguito? Where is my belly button? Or where is the belly button? <laughs> this one's really cute. We used to read it to him all the time. And it's all ruined. But you can see it had little flaps. <laughs> so it asks, Donde están? Los Ojitos, and you would open up the cover, and I think it would say something like, Aquí está, or something. Están, I don't know. I don't remember. I need to practice my Spanish, too. It's all ripped up. Let's see. Donde está la boquita? all of the p 
pages that say, here it is, probably says under my shirt. Donde están los piececitos? See all of the things are ripped out. See like this one here, I knew one would still be. And then the end, donde esta mi bebe? Ahí esta. So that was a cute little book. Definitely gonna keep that one. It's one of the first books I ever bought for my son. That was all messed up. We already looked at that. This one just doesn't belong here. It's just a, a book of puzzles. I should leave this out because they might do this sitting around the house. I should just leave it downstairs. All these little mazes and things connect the dots. Leave this one out. Just put it there for now. And then let's see. Here we have another sort of ripped up book Mother Goose Nursery Rhymes. It's got a lot of stories in here, these plasticky pages. I'm going to have a hard time getting rid of, rid of any of these books. It's got all of these, just little nursery rhymes. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags of wool. So, little Bo Peep. Let's see, some of the pages are stuck here. Yankee Doodle Dandy. I had a little nut tree. I don't know that one. This one's all stuck together. Mary had a little lamb. Patty Cake, Patty Cake Baker's Man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it. This one says prick it but I thought it was roll it. And mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. Well, this is too cute and I can't get rid of that one. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. It's very cute. I'll put it in this pile of little sort of baby books that I can't throw away. Move that pile. This pile here. Okay, so this is an older kid pile. Let's see these. This back here. This is another one I think that she got from the library. Princess in training. I don't know what this is about. Princess for president, age 12 and up. Well, I guess I need to keep it for her. She might decide to pick it up. It's a longer chapter book. This one will have to go in the pile of books that she might actually still read. Here's a little sort of little kid book, Zack's Alligator. I have no idea where this came from, but you can see it's a really short book. 
have a hard time really getting rid of any books because they're always, I just want to read all of them. But this one we'll get rid of because I know that no one will read it here. And someone could get good use out of this one. So that will go in the list of books to give away. Another classic story, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is a little golden book. Remember these when I was little? Had so many of these little golden books. So it's obviously another <laughs> Sort of little, a little bit too um, juvenile, I guess, for my kids because they're too old for this. But oh, I guess we'll keep it. I'll put it in the little baby pile. Okay, here's one: the birthday presents. Looks like a cute little story. It's um, it's just you know, too young. It's for a younger kid, so I'll give this one away. this humongous basket full of books. So let's see how far we can get into this basket. Alright, so now we have this. So many books. Many we can get through. 
So this one again looks like it's a simpler book. This one's all about birds. A lot of these, I um, really can't remember where they came from. So this one I will not keep because it's just very simple. Has really pretty artwork though. An eagle. That's so pretty. Okay, so this one we'll put to the side. This one here looks like it was a gift, probably from um, probably from my mother. Grandma loves you, the big bunny and the little bunny. So I know I have a few of these. of books that mark gifts. Okay. Okay, so this one I will... <laughs> oh, look at the tiny little bunny. <laughs> this one I will have to keep because it was a gift. This one was a gift to my son. Alright, I'll leave this one here because I'm running out of room. Edward the Emu. This one looks like we'll have to get this one away too. series there was an old lady who swallowed a she always swallows something different and I remember wanting to get these for them because 
I had one when I was a little kid. It was, she swallowed a spider. I don't know if that was the first one of these, but I remember seeing this and I was like, oh, I got so excited because I loved that story when I was little. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider. I don't know why that stuck with me so much. So now she swallows lots of other things. <laughs> um, I will get rid of this one because um, they won't read it. Okay, and then there's Scooby-Doo. Now, this one is... Uh, level... So it's easier to read. It's longer. It's in pretty good shape. So, um, you know, it's like an easier level book, but it's Scooby Doo. <laughs> I might keep this one. I don't know. It is for a younger kid, though. My son used to like reading the Scooby-Doo books. He used to like watching the show, too. Oh, I guess I'll just hold on to it for now. Please, Mr. Panda, another book for a smaller kid. This one go also. Both of them. Okay. Still have a lot to look at. Okay, this one is um, an old book. Taking care of terrific. Another one that I just don't know where it came from. Don't know how that happens. I don't know if they give them to them in school. Hmm. It's really old. Well, I don't know, I guess I will just, let's see, 14 year old, and I can't stand her name when she takes a summer job, babysitting. I don't 
interesting story, but I'm just going to let it go. Here is another classic story, little golden book, The Princess and the Pea. It's very short, but it's a classic book. There are more than 200 timeless little golden books. Keep this one just because of it being such a classic story, and I will leave that in this pile of books for smaller kids. Okay, this one's another book of my son's, just sort of a <laughs> informative, educational type of book, Discovery Kids, all about sharks. So this one is um, one that I will let go of, because I'm sure no one will ever pick it up again. Based on a true story, A Long Walk to Water. I'm not sure if she read it or not yet. Um, but I'll definitely keep this one because this is probably um, still a good level for her. So we'll put that with the books she might still read. And this one also, a little longer, written in a little bit of a different format. I don't remember reading this one either, but um, it's probably easier to Read. It's interesting. Inside out and back again. again. You know, that show they used to watch, Danny Phantom, <laughs> Nickelodeon show. I think my son used to like that show. So this one we'll get rid of. So all of these ones I'm going to keep because I love the you know, Dr. Seuss stories. So this is a, um, we have this story called um, Go Dog Go. Is that what it is? Corde, Corde? Am I saying that right or? Well anyway. I love this story. Um, oh, it's, yeah, Go Dog Go. But this is the Spanish version. 
I had read this story lots of times in English to the kids and um, so I thought let me now buy it in Spanish and maybe they'll be able to understand it. So this is really cute. Um, Kore pero Kore. So I love this little book. It's really simple. But I thought this was a perfect one to try and get in Spanish because it's kind of easy. Pero. Pero grande, pero pequeño, big dog, little dog. Peros grandes y peros pequeños. Big dogs and little dogs. Peros negros y blancos, white dogs and black dogs. So this one I will definitely keep. Un perro rojo sobre un árbol azul. A red dog. I don't know if that's on a blue tree on top of. I don't know what sobre is. Un perro azul sobre un árbol rojo. A blue dog on top of a red tree. Or on. So this is very cute. We'll keep this one as a little kid book. Okay, Camp Baby Mouse. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Oh, a bookmark. Okay, this one is very simple. I don't know. Maybe my daughter picked this one out when she was younger. Okay, so this we will get rid of. And I'll let them have the bookmark too. Okay. Here is, I think this was given to my daughter maybe, Dancing Through Fire Portraits. I think I'll just let this one go to, just to not hold on to every last thing that we have. Okay, so here's another Babysitter's Club. The Truth About Stacy. Okay, so it's another of this style. Uh, I think she still does like reading these ones, so put these, um, let's see. let me just keep them together. Babysitter's Club. So here I have um, these Disney, Disney movie stories, five minutes spooky stories. So let's see, this is cute and it's kind of unique so I'm going to keep this one. I think they actually were a little scared when I read these ones to them. But see, it's all of these classic stories made into little spooky 
of spooky little stories. <laughs> so it has Toy Story, Tangled, Finding Nemo, Winnie the Pooh, Sleeping Beauty, Monster Sink, Peter Pan, Mickey and Friends, Aladdin, Cars, Beauty and the Beast, and Wreck-It Ralph. Toys that go bump in the night. Definitely keep this one. I want to read this one now. Spooky stories. Okay, so this one we'll just put right there. Okay, here we have Father Bear Comes Home. Another one I don't know where it came from. Okay, so, um, this is for a younger kid, so we will let this one go. Okay. Another cat in the hat. This is the cat in the hat story. I used to read these to them all the time. Yeah, so, keep this one. All of the Cat in the Hat books will definitely keep. Alright, so here we have at the very... Oh, it's the same story. Wow, I didn't realize that. I don't know if this... I wonder if this is one of mine from a long, long time ago. Oh, that's really funny that we happen to have the same story. The Truth About Stacy. So they do redo um, the same stories, some of them. Oh my goodness. Sinner's Club. I wonder if this was mine. Must be, unless they. Um... Oh, wow, well, look. There was not so many at the time. Look for these other books in the Babysitter's Club series. Number one, Christie's Great Idea. Number two, Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls. I remember, I think, this story we read, too. Um, and coming soon, Marianne Saves the Day. So this is only book number three. Definitely keep this one. I wish that I knew. Let's see. Okay, so I just found my signature in the back. I'll keep that one. Alright, so here's... I guess this was a movie also. Max, best friend, hero, marine. Okay, it's a longer book. I'm not sure, I just don't think that anyone will read it, even though I know it's more my daughter's level, probably, but I'll get rid of this one. Okay. So this is another, um book that my kids liked for me to read to them when they were smaller. The Adventures of Amelia Bedelia. I don't know why they liked it so much, but it is a cute story. So I think this has maybe three different stories in it. 
the adventures of Amelia Bedelia. This is ages four to eight. They're cute stories, so I use this is one book that I read like over and over to my son. My son liked it a lot. So I'll keep this one. So this one we'll keep, and I guess I'll put it here with the smaller kid books. Okay. Some more Dr. Seuss that says Poopy Bay. Alright. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. One of my favorite stories. Okay. I have to watch this movie every year, Christmas time. Okay. Maybe we'll read this story. This is the big red book of beginner books. And it has all of these stories here. Stop the ball. I want to be somebody new. Sam and the Firefly. The Very Bad Bunny. The Diggiest Dog. And Robert the Rose Horse. I used to read these stories also over and over and over to the kids. My son, he would pick which one he wanted me to read every night. Hmm. So we'll keep that one. They loved this story, The Very Bad Bunny. I don't know why. <laughs> I had to read that one all the time. So that's the red one, and then I read um, these stories a lot to them too. This is the book of children's classics. It's got all of these stories in it. This was a nice book. They did like a lot of the stories from here. I know I read Madeline in a video. My daughter liked this story, Corderon. I love that story of Madeline. So this is a nice book with some classic stories. I will hold on to that. And another Amelia Bedelia. See another one. I thought we read it so many times that maybe if I got it in Spanish, that would be nice for for them, but also for me <laughs> to learn a little more Spanish. Let's see. Ahora tengo que preparar el pollo para la cena de Gaia. Este noche, noche. Now I have to prepare the chicken for dinner. 
something tonight. <laughs> okay, that one we will keep. Where's the other Amelia Bedelia? Okay. We will those two. Next we have this one here, Silly Jokes for Silly Kids. <laughs> I got this for my daughter. I remember because she was into all this, um, like riddles and these little silly jokes. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. <laughs> So, and she would always say, Mom, tell me, do you any jokes? So I got her this book. So, I don't know if I should get this one. Of course, I'll just keep it. <laughs> one more year, I guess. Here's one on amazing insects. So this is just another really little kid book. It's very short. So this is one that we will give away. Coming down to the bottom of the pile here. This is another chapter book. This one's called Wish. Okay, this is one of my daughters. Another chapter book. Um, so yeah, I'll keep this one for her. Yeah, this is a, probably a good type of book for her to read. So that's a good one for her. We'll keep that one. Okay, let's see. My big fat zombie goldfish. The sequel. Not sure if maybe my son would have picked this out when he was younger. <laughs> but, um, I don't think, even though it's, um, a longer, you know, chapter book, I think the subject is sort of not one that either of my kids will care about. So this one we will, this one we'll get rid of. Okay, this one I got I think, um, like during the winter time, one year, it's a book of science experiments for kids. So I don't, I don't remember doing too many of these. It's either I got it over the winter time or possibly the summer time. You know, when they're out of school and 
they do end up getting kind of bored sometimes, you know? So, this one I will keep because my daughter still loves doing all this kind of um, stuff like this, being creative and making messes. <laughs> Um, so here's another Dr. Seuss, old one, green eggs and ham. So you probably know this story. I do not like them, Sam I am. So we read this one a lot too. Would you like them here or there? I do not like them, Sam I am. So, of course, I need to keep this one. I love all these stories. They're fun to read. Okay, let's see. And then, here is one. The Creeper Diaries. I'm sure that my son picked this one out. He was big into Minecraft. So I'm sure this came after that. I think he did read this book. I think he liked it. Um, I'm not sure though that um, anyone will read it. Maybe my daughter would, but um, somehow I don't think so. I guess I'll just let this one go, so... Um, maybe there's another little boy or girl out there who will read this. So these are all, um, these books are Who Was, and they have lots of um, notable people in history. Um, this one is about Milton Hershey. So I think they get these from school. Biographies, I guess. Okay. So they have a few, and I think my son did enjoy reading these. Okay, so this was uh, one on Milton Hershey. They gave him this one on Barack Obama. So it's like a good um, size, or I'm sorry, good length book for a young kid. And, um, you know, sort of easy to read. So these are good. I think, um, I think I would keep these ones for my daughter. Because they're... You know, I think they're a nice little way to learn who was Helen Keller. Something gross there. <laughs> um, so it's not too long, but it's, you know, not too babyish. And, um,. And he did like it, so um, I think it must mean something if the, if the kids seem to like it. Must be good. Okay, so there's just those three that they have. 
and I'll keep those and then another of these Dr. Seuss stories so it's a um, the big green book of beginner books now I know I had three of them um, where's the one here that's the red one I know I had the green one and also the blue one so I don't know where the blue one is right now but it's somewhere in this house so these are really cute the big green book of beginner books so this one has I am not going to get up today wacky Wednesday would you rather be a bullfrog maybe you should fly a jet I wish that I had duck feet and a great day for a so this one I remember reading all of these stories like a hundred times they had their favorites this one we read all of these like over and over they loved Wacky Wednesday and I wish that I had duck feet really all of these we read a lot so we'll keep that one but I said I was going to keep the Dr. Seuss books together this one there yeah, okay. okay just one more and it's another um, so I don't know who P.D. Eastman these are like Dr. Seuss books I'm trying to figure out who is P.D. Eastman well anyway this one is snow it's in this is another really cute story I like this book a lot it's in that style come out in the snow I want to know if you like snow do you like it? Yes or no? Oh yes, oh yes, I do like snow. <laughs> do you like it in your face? <laughs> so this one's cute and I will keep this one. Okay, I'll put that with all of the Dr. Seuss. Alright, so I have emptied out the basket. I think that this looks a little nicer. It's not too many. And I do feel better. At least I did get, get rid of some of them that were just being wasted sitting there and never to be read so I do have a bunch more books laying around the house mine my son's so maybe I'll have to do another one of these book organizing videos so I do hope that this was enjoyable for you to watch me go through these books and maybe I will be able to do another one just like it thank you so much for watching